the shell cases, where did they come from? Who put them there? How they all of a sudden appear there? Um, is it only the, uh, the shells or is it something else? Parents protest after a series of lockdowns at Cypress Bay High School in Weston. It's a story CBS4 has been following extensively over the past few weeks. Peter Dench joins us live at the school with the goal of this protest. Peter? Well, Lauren and Elliot, those parents contacted CBS4 about this protest, which occurred after classes ended. Parents say they're worried and they're worried about their children's safety. They say some are afraid to go to school. They went inside to meet with the school advisory council. Now, a small but vocal group here of 15 parents showed up wearing yellow T-shirts that said fear has no place in schools. They say they are concerned about bullying, assaults, and the three lockdowns. It all started with a threatening phone call that was made two weeks ago that BSO is investigating. Then we saw a memorable image last Tuesday as a BSO canine officer with his dog scoured a gym by the boys' locker room. It's where parents told us shotgun shells were found. Two days later, there was another other lockdown after more shell casings were found. PSO said no weapon was discovered, but parents have a lot of concerns. My concerns basically are the safety of our children and that the school uses um, all their resources to protect our children. The shell cases, where did they come from? Who put them there? How they all of a sudden appear there? Um, is it only the, uh, the shells or is it something else? Uh, the lockdown issue is a major concern. The lack of transparency is what's going on throughout these lockdowns. Um, just a up, repetitive update of everybody's safe, everything's fine, but parents are just getting our first message of a dangerous item is found with no clarification until the end of the day when our children are already home. Now, the protest happened in the middle of the afternoon. We did reach out to the Broward County School System for a response. Meanwhile, BSO says it's not clear who made the threatening phone call or who brought the shell casings to this school. They tell us the investigation is open and active. We are live in Weston, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.